Maybe they fixed the bat a little bit. Before the bat was absolutely useless. Seems like it's alright now. Alright, the four story apartments around here somewhere. So yeah, like I said, even though I died in that last encounter, um, I, I think that was still kind of an exciting gunfight, even though it was like kind of unfair, it's three to one, but some people snipe up on this bridge, I have to be pretty careful. But you can see, like, you can't, you gotta just shoot anything, you know, I was getting shot at and I, I didn't take shots at anybody. But what kind of got, what I think got me killed there was uh, engaging in those zombies, you know, because I didn't have a freaking melee weapon like this where I could kill them off without making a bunch of noise. It's getting pretty dark right now, too. So half this series might be in the darkness. But I don't really mind the darkness. Darkness is fun, right? brings more of the zombie spookiness. Another thing you have to be careful with is a lot of people have been using the ESP hacks like I mentioned before. So they could have known where I am and I would have never known. So it's a little unfortunate. Their, their uh, security on hacks is pretty terrible. Just like daisies. So... know exactly where I am okay this is the four-story apartment where shit goes down but I ain't scared why is that zombie standing up on that all right I'm not going that way that looks too sketch pretty sure I just heard myself aggro too Christ sakes. Okay, he's not aggro anymore. This is the building everyone seems to run to. I'll be able to hear immediately when I walk in here if there's someone in the building walking around. put a blockade at the door so no one comes in here no loot in here that's not good it means that it probably got looted alright before I get all Trigger happy. Someone might be camping in this building. Alright, now the reason I'm going to put antibiotics here is because I can just basically click five if I'm almost dead and they'll bring me back up to full health so it'll be super helpful hmm maybe I should pick up this flare I'm gonna pick up this flare and throw it. Maybe I'll get some attention. How do you throw it? Quit. There we go. That should gain some attention. If 
They're gonna be like, hey, Flare, look! And just run to this building. Hopefully. That would be the ideal situation. Let me check this last room. I don't know if I looted this yet. No. Remember, painkillers and bandages only take one spot in this game, so if you see anything that you already have, you might as well pick it up. Carefully checking each and every floor. We have a look out this window. Don't see anything. Zombie. I thought that was a person. I would have been like, oh, it's such an easy shot from here. Just making sure I don't hear any movement. See, this is like a good spot to sit right here. If you're careful. Careful of snipers, though. Chocolate bar. Anything food related, grab it. It's too rare in this game, I swear. The server's got 23 people, and I'm really shocked that I'm not seeing anybody. I'm really shocked that there's no one in this building, to be honest. A lot of people go up here. There you go, something for my head. A little more badass now, don't you say? Imagine if there were there's someone in the last room, like right there, just sitting there. That'd be depressing. Listening for any footsteps or zombie aggro. Sounds pretty. Yeah, sounds pretty quiet. You can usually hear, hear uh, footsteps pretty loud. They're pretty loud. So, all right. Well, we check this building. I'm just gonna type in the chat real quick. See if we can get any information. Any action in campus? See if somebody answers no, and you know they're here. Or else they wouldn't know. There's the giant supermarket I was at before. Yeah, you, mom. In four. Four means four story building. What is four? course the bandage like anyone want to have a shootout my call of duty's broken to say. Maybe we should leave here? 
I don't know. Nothing else to do. Alright, so we have looted the four-story building successfully. See, when he said, yeah, in four, I thought maybe he meant the four-story building. Because if that's what he meant, then that was the building that I was inside of, so... What a douchebag. I'm like, what is four? He goes, a number. Thanks, asshat. I didn't know. Let's bring up the brightness a bit. Turn up the bass. Burn, 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 Zombies look good. Seeing no camp or uh, action in Campos, guys, is like seeing no action in Electro. It's like zero chance of it. I'm really sketched out right now. Especially in a server with 25 people. What the hell? Oh, yes, baby. Can of ham is so clutch. Can I get. Oh, I can get that too. Through the wall. Oh shit, I thought I heard someone. I might be going insane, but I thought I heard someone walking. It's all about seeing the, your opponent before they see you. The walking sound like it came from this building. Really popular area for Campos. See, this is where the where they showed the main video where there's like four people in that building. That's the main building. So I say we make our way up here. Water. I would like the water. Thank you. Make our way up the street. I don't see any zombies. That's a good sign. So I think if I don't see any action here, I'm just gonna go to Clearview. Clearview is always promising. A lot of the bandit groups like to, oh god. A large majority of the bandit groups like to go to Clearview because it's, there's less uh, chance of running into another bandit group. You can die any day now, zombie. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let me check in this building. Um, there was a lot of updates from my last video. You can see how the, the running has changed. They updated a lot of different stuff. Made the zombies more aggressive. Um, pretty much, you name it, they changed it. <laughs> but there are two backpacks bigger than the one I have on now. I have both of them. So, it's the thing it's the Alice rucksack and the uh, military backpack. Those are the two ones that are bigger. Rucksack's only four more slots than this one, and the military backpack is eight more slots. So, there's nothing going on here. So, we're going to make our way towards... Maybe I should loot this first, or this uh, little part of the city first. I think I'm in Parkville. Yep, I'm in Parkville. Whoa, that just got really loud for no reason. People are usually in this... A lot of players like to call it the suburbs because it's like just outside the city. Another pair of binocs. I don't need them. 
That was really weird. It was like really loud. They gotta change. They gotta fix some of the sounds in this game. It was like really loud in there, and then now it's not. <laughs> so. This looks like a hospital. You get some med supplies in here. Water. Works for me. Instant oatmeal. Remember, food. Food things. Oh, can of ham. Score. Getting ham in this game is like finding a weapon, I swear. One of these times I'm gonna come around this corner, there's gonna be some guy hiding in the corner with a with like a hammer. I've seen that happen before. Sometimes you don't have time to react either. It's only like three hits with a hammer and you're dead, motherfucker. And they're like, thanks for the loot. All I needed was a hand. Some people like to just hide in corners because when they don't have anything, they have nothing to lose, you know? So. 9mm mag, that's clutch. So if I find a pistol now, I'll have an extra magazine. 9mm is almost as, as important as Stenag rounds. I'm kinda pissed that I lost that Stenag 30. Trying really hard not to aggro that zombie. Good zombie. Good, good zombie. No loot in here. Really? Can of soda. That's all you can do for me, Fire Station. Fire Station, you've always been good to me. What is wrong with you? Have a quick look down the street. Remember, it's always a good idea to be super paranoid. Being paranoid's the best way. Okay, I'm gonna go out of Parkville and right to Clearview. Quickly look down this hallway. This hallway. Oh, the, the fucking zombie scared me. Just making sure nothing weird is going on. Last time when that those uh those guys started shooting at me, I fucking scared the hell out of me. Check that corner, that corner, that corner, and looks clear to me. Ooh, AKM mag, even though AKM's not that good in this game. I've had it a bunch of times. Have a few in my inventory, I think. Bandages, bandages, painkillers. I'll take all of those every time. Granola bar, painkillers. God, this can of tuna. Can of tuna is good. Can't believe I have so much food. 12 gauge, painkillers, chem light. No thanks. Chem light's just gonna give out my position, and I'm gonna be really salty. Hmm, which one do I like better? Gas mask one or two? Let's see the difference. Oh, the gas mask one looks super sketch. Let's keep that one. Look at how it's got the long... Oh, God. It is getting really, really dark out. And this server is getting really, really filled. Oh, fuck. I thought that mailbox was a person. Okay, now my brightness is super high like it was in my last playthrough, because I can't see, unless I had my NV goggles. But my NV goggles are on another player, so. What the fuck is that, dude? Holy shit. I think I just shit myself. This backpack looked like a frickin' person. For semi, I'll definitely take that. It's basically the single shot version of the gun that I have right now, so it's a pretty good find. What the hell is this? Black mask. Yes, sir. My backpack's full. But I'm gonna put that shit on. 
This is more like it. Check my corners. Good to go. All right. So I obviously like the M4 a lot better than the M4 Semi, but the M4 Semi definitely gets the job done. Don't underestimate it. What is that? Is that a zombie? Yeah, it is. Okay. We're on our way to Clearview, other known as Beantown. Still like calling it Beantown for some reason. I don't know why. But we have to be careful because this hill over here is where most of the people spawn. I think they recently fixed that, but I used to always spawn on the same hill because people were spawn killing and it was getting people really frustrated. So I'm really trying to hope that I don't lose two M4s in one day. That would, that would make me salty. I think we can already see the outskirts of Beantown. Those are buildings through there. Let's move up there. It's time to get some kills, guys. All you've seen me do is run around and die for this continuation of the series. This isn't good. I need to up I need to up it up. Up it up? What the hell was I trying to say there? I need to get a better chair. This chair I'm in is so comfortable, but it's like killing my back. I also like, I sit weird because I try to get super close to my snowball, and my snowball's on my desk, which is way below my mouth, so. The quality would actually be a lot better if I was close like this, but. Back here, I'm, my arms are sore from the gym. Okay. We have bean townage. Bean townage. Only way, only thing, like, when I get in here, so many things can be going down in Beantown. There could be, there could be a bandit group of seven people in here, and I wouldn't know. So, I'm going to get in a position where I can kind of scope it out. Because I didn't see anybody in Campos, and that's usually where everyone is. What is he saying? A Harrion, Pimpin, and Androx are bandits. Oh, Pimpium and Androx. So this guy supposedly was killed. Where does it say? Mountain Crest. Where's Mountain Crest? Looking on my map. Oh, Mountain Crest is way down south there. I don't really have to worry about them. They're a good 15 minute run from Campos. Moving into the city. The zombie moving there. We're actually coming into the city the right way, too. This is the best way to move in. I'm going to have the restaurant on my left, and I'm going to be in the... Away from all the good loot spots. The good loot spots are, like, by the police station, um, by, like, the supermarkets and the APC and stuff. So I should be okay as long as I can get in here without aggroing, which is why I love my character with the silencer, because I can just take zombies out without having to worry about it, without even anyone in the same town knowing I'm there it's great so if you go in and hit somebody with like a bat or something I picked this bat up by the way guys don't waste your your points on bats and shit like that try not to zombie come around the wall so I can kill him instantly <laughs> Scary music, dude. Oh, God. So, my whole... I don't know. My whole... 
I guess, opinion about the PvP thing is that they should have some servers where there's, uh, like, no friendly fire or whatever, where you can't shoot humans. For the people who want it to be, like, a huge co-op. And then for the players like myself who enjoy, you know, hunting down other players, but also fighting against zombies and surviving, that they should leave other servers open for that. And uh, I think it's just, it's such a split. Like, some people just hate banditry, and I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Okay, it's making a water sound when I walk. That That's really scared me. I know exactly where I am. Oh, you bastard of a game. There's the police station way down the street. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to move into the city without aggroing. As you guys saw what happened when I shot last time, everyone in the per the you know the proximity came towards me. So, we're not seeing anybody talking in proximity yet. This is really really confusing. How could there not be people in Campos or Bean Town. Does that make sense? There's got to be people here. Oh. Hello, anybody out there? My name is Like Butter. I'm not so much friendly. But um, I would like you to think I am. Here we can get a good look down the street. I'm gonna jump over this. Lay down instantly. There. Now I can get a look at the entire main street. See if I see any movement. There's a zombie there. Oh, I see some movement down there. It looks like it's like all zombies, though. There's no way. Talk to my fellow friends. See, you gotta know how to deceive heading there soon. Even though I'm already in here, I'm just seeing if anybody gives me a response. I feel like I'm pretty protected right now. Uh-oh. This guy's asking me if I'm friendly. Hmm. Should I be a dick and be like, yeah, and then kill him? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm just not going to respond. Oops. I just completely failed. I don't trust. I don't know why I can't type right now. It's my arms are so sore. I took such a long, I took a, like a four weeks off or three weeks off of the gym because I was like getting lazy and doing other stuff. And now I'm freaking sore as hell. Should have made my routine easier. Pyom pyom. I don't know what that means. This guy hit a W a bunch of times. Why did you do that, sir? Loot this. Had an M4 semi last time I checked one of these. I don't know what Pyom means. Pyom your face.
Might as well pick this up if I can. Nope. Let's eat this. Sodas don't really do that much, so. I'll pick that up. It's good. Oh, shit. Well, I basically was just like, hey, clear view. Hear this loud ass zombie? It means I'm over here. goodness it is so dark so funny yesterday I saw this guy hiding in the in the trash in this these trash bins over here I had to shoot him in the head it's so funny he was like sitting in here like this hold on what the fuck okay he's in here and he's like this he's like poking over at me just looking with a hammer I was just like pop pop right in his head and he went on to be like oh enjoy my hammer fuck it B92. Okay. I just picked up a pistol, guys. I don't, really, I don't really need a pistol right now, but most certainly won't turn it down. One of my favorite pistols, too, but. Pistols in this game are very, very good. Shit. It'd be really clutch if you could, like, switch to, like, third like the third thing to be your melee weapon because that way you could have um you could have a pistol as your secondary what is that a stop sign 